Hello and namaste to you all. I am Kefler Lamisani and I'm working with Naksahav to bring people who are interested in learning Revit 30 days of Revit classes. And in this 30 day Revit course, uh, we'll be focused on learning the architectural portion of Revit, meaning this 30 day course will be primarily focused on architectural designers and interior designers who are interested in learning Revit. This is not focused on the structural design part of the Revit. So Revit is a very large, a massive piece of software. It is used by construction professionals of all kinds, from structural engineers to MEPF engineers to surveyors to cost estimators. And of course, the architectural designers like us also use Revit. And Revit is one of the more difficult to learn software. It has a very steep learning curve, meaning initially revit is going to be difficult to get a hold of and this difficulty is because revit is not just a cad software revit is a bim software meaning revit is a building information modeling software now what is the difference uh, between a cad software and a bim software cad software like autocad like sketchup or rhino this software the way they work is let's say autocad you draw lines and these lines represent wall these lines represent windows these lines represent doors but the software itself doesn't understand that this is a wall this is a door this is a window you are the one who understands uh, this thing this drawing of this particular shape is a wall is a window the software does not understand that for software it's just a line and same thing in sketchup in the place of lines sketchup understands things in 3d so let's say a wall is just a 3d cuboid or sketchup or in rhino it's a 3d mess so cad software even if you make buildings in them they do not actually understand that the building is a building for autocad it's a collection of lines for sketchup it's just a collection of 3d shapes but for a beam software everything that you make in beam software has all the information required for it to be translated into a real-time building so let's see what that means so if i make a wall in revit so this is a 30 feet wall so this 30 feet wall already has a height it already has some sort of elevation so it starts from level one and then it can go to level two so it already has a height now as soon as it has a height meaning it has a 3d shape as well so everything you make in revit will have all the information required for it to be translated into a real-time building so this wall will also have a volume also have an area so all the information required it's already being translated by the software itself so that makes work a lot easier but then learning revit at the same time can be very hard because everything that you make in revit is like learning mathematics so there are steps to do everything so if you want to make let's say a slab let's say if you want to make a ceiling then you have to go through certain steps to make something in a particular shape so in sketchup if you want to make a slope roof you just model something that looks like a slope and then it you extrude that and it becomes a slope roof right so here to do that you'll have to go through certain steps so let's make a sim simple slope roof in revit and you'll understand what i actually mean so i have four walls so i want to make a roof so i want to make a roof in level two so it will ask you where do you want the roof to be so the software wants all the information so right now let's say if i want to draw in autocad let's say if you draw a line over another line autocad doesn't really mind but here if you draw another line the software will say there are two lines two walls that are overlapping i can't work with that so you'll have to you know avoid doing those kind of things so you have four walls so in 3d also we have four walls now what we have to do is we have to make a roof for this wall and to make a roof to make a slope roof what you have to do is you have to first go to roof to level two and then now it will ask you to either draw a boundary line or to select or pick the walls that you want so i'm going to level two and i'll i'll be drawing a this kind of shape now when i take it there's a roof so this is a roof but now now to change anything i have to change it let's so i have to give it information to change rather than you know uh, change it in its shape so this portion of the roof i don't want the slope there 
and this portion also i don't want it to define slope so now now i have a gabled slope roof now if i want this wall to you know meet the roof so i have to select these walls and attach them now let's say you want a flat roof so same way you have to give it more information so go again now i'll have to take out slope from this side and this side now none of the sides have any slope that means now we have a flat roof so you have to give all this information so everything is done step by step in revit to make certain something you have to go through particular steps and you have to remember these steps so it's just like learning mathematics now what will we learn what will we be going through what kind of projects will we do let's go through that so we'll be learning how to make simple one bsk apartment in this will have a simple layout bedroom kitchen bathroom and living room and i'll be giving you a plan or we'll be making a studio apartment and we'll be learning how to do basics of revit using those small plans and this will be focused on both architects and interior designers so we'll be learning how to do interior design and architecture work both at the same time and then we'll be also be learning how to model things we'll be learning how to make fans sandaliers because modeling is also an important part so this software i'm not just going to be teaching you how to draft plans i'll be also teaching you how to model things so you are learning autocad sketchup and a rendering software all of these three things at the same time because this software does all those work at the same time and we'll be making a townhouse or a um, row house in this particular project we'll be learning how to copy slabs copy stairs work in multiple floors work in a more vertical setting and then we'll be learning how to make a restaurant this is so that interior design students and architectural students can both work on something a little bit bigger than a house this will just be a ground floor plan of a restaurant this will be a 22 30 person seating restaurant plan i'll be giving you plans and we'll be drawing that and in the end we'll be learning how to make a duplex meaning two floor building and this will be a simple two floor building we'll be rendering it using enscape and that will be our last portion of revit and what i want to teach by the end of this 30 day course is if you go to any office that uses revit you should be able to work you should be able to collaborate with the office and you should be able to let's say do anything that comes your way in revit but in 30 days it's not possible to become a advanced user of revit so we'll be going from the beginner level to the intermediate level of revit and we'll be using enscape enscape is a, a rendering software that uh, has real-time rendering it's uh, like lumion but a little bit lighter and it produces renders pretty quickly we'll be using enscape to produce basic renderings and and enscape is a pretty easy to use software so we'll be taking two days to learn uh enscape so we'll be learning how to do a exterior render and interior render both using enscape so by the end of 30 days we'll be learning how to let's say make plans sections elevations we'll be learning how to compile all of those things in a drawing in a a1 a2 a3 size sheet uh, we'll also be learning how to make a finished rendering using enscape in two days but the rendering is going to be basic we'll also be learning how to use revit with other softwares like autocad sketchup so let's say something is really difficult to model in revit because revit is a step-by-step uh, -step modeling software so you can export your plan export your 3d to sketchup and you can do those intricate small modelings in sketchup or in rhino and you can make a more finished more beautiful product product at the same time so this 30 days revit course will be focused on architectural design part and the interior design part of the revit and hopefully you'll be able to work in any professional environment that uses revit without any difficulty